In this video, I'm going to talk about high fructose corn syrup. Why high fructose corn syrup is a dangerous threat to the health of Americans and why nobody seems to want to talk about it. I'm Professor Chi. I help people raise their vibration. Welcome to yet another video. Now let's get started. High fructose corn syrup was developed in 1980 in Japan as a new kind of uh, sweetener that was much sweeter than sugar and would be able to uh, be used less expensively. Um, at that time, it wasn't considered you know, dangerous. They didn't know, it just seemed like a great product. And now, one out of every 10 calories Americans burn is from high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is in almost all processed foods. It's in almost all sugared soda pops and, and Gatorade and, and uh, sports drinks. High fructose corn syrup is so prevalent that it's sometimes difficult to find products that have regular sugar in it. One of the main reasons why is that <clears throat> high fructose corn syrup is half the price of sugar. Now, how can it be half the price of sugar? Well, the main reason why it's half the price of sugar is because our government subsidizes the corn industry to the tune of almost $500 billion a year in the farm bill. Without this subsidy, I am quite sure that industry would choose to use sugar rather than high fructose corn syrup. The, the uh, food industry is 17% of the gross national product, so we're talking about a huge industry. As far as that goes, the, the, the revenue last in, in this year, 2019, is over $400 billion for just high fructose corn syrup alone. So high fructose corn syrup is a major economic force in America. It's made almost exclusively by a company called Cargill. Now Cargill is a company that many of you may have never heard of that is influencing almost everything in your life, though you may not know this. Cargill, is they own almost all the silos in the United States. They are responsible for storing most of the grain and all of the corn in the United States. We have a huge gulp of, of corn. We have so much corn in the United States that we feed it to animals. Most of the corn grown in the United States is fed to animals, to pigs and cows and chickens. Good corn! Now, understand that this corn that's being grown is not like the sweet corn that you eat. It's, it's a very different kind of corn. If you were to see it, you would think that doesn't look like corn. It's much smaller. It's grain corn. Furthermore, this corn is usually a GMO. So not only is high fructose corn syrup highly as we're going to see in, later in this film, very dangerous for your health, but it is a concentrated GMO. I'm not going to go into talking about GMOs, but trust me, they're not that great. The secret process that Cargill uses to make high fructose corn syrup, nobody knows about it. Nobody knows how it's made. It's one out of every 10 calories that Americans can, can consume are high fructose corn syrup and nobody knows how it's made. We do know that it's made from not just corn, but it's made from the corn stock as well. And they, um, the what little bit of research is, that has been done on high fructose corn syrup um, was only done because of, of this one uh, um, smart gal there at the FDA. She wanted to research it and she got a hold of, of Cargill and said, send me some of this high fructose corn syrup. I want to uh, research it. And they said, no. So she had to pretend like she was a new soda company and oh, right away they sent her some. In the research, she found that there was uh, uh, quite a bit of mercury in high fructose corn syrup. 
Now, where does the mercury come from? Not only is there mercury in high fructose corn syrup, but there was there was this chemical peak. They were seeing they were seeing a lot of chemicals in the analysis that were neither fructose nor glucose. They're not even sure what exactly is in it, but there are a lot of chemicals in it, and the and the most dangerous of which is mercury. The mercury is coming from the caustic soda and hydrochloric acid that they use to strip the corn starch away from the corn. They use these highly toxic chemicals to strip the corn starch away from the corn. So there's actually a lot of, I mean, a, a, a toxic amounts of mercury in high fructose corn syrup. Um, and Americans eat 140 pounds of sweetener a year. Now that used to just be sugar, but since 1980, this, there's a considerable amounts of this is um, high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is in almost all processed food. It is in almost all sugary drinks, sodas, um, sports drinks even things like tonic water. Uh, it's very difficult to find uh, sweet drinks that, aren't, uh, that don't have high fructose corn syrup. You have to really read the label well. And they're hiding the name a lot now. Now they're just calling it corn syrup rather than high fructose corn syrup, or they have other catchy names uh, for, for this, this, this horrible substance that's in our food. Um, furthermore, Another reason why there's so little alarm around high fructose corn syrup is that the Corn Miller Association, which is a high, uh, which is uh, subsidized by Cargill and the, uh, Jacob Daniels and these other companies that make high fructose corn syrup, they spend millions of dollars a year sending information to doctors telling them that high fructose corn syrup is the same as sugar. This could not be further from the truth. High fructose corn syrup is not sugar and your body does not process high fructose corn syrup like sugar at all. Your body likes glucose. When you eat sugar, table sugar, um, your body instantly processes it and starts to use it as, as ATP, as energy in the body. And that's, that's where the sugar rush come from. It's instantly used. The body likes sugar. Fructose, on the other hand, has to be converted into glucose in the liver. So the, 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 the high fructose corn syrup, which is a very thick, viscous, ugly substance, it goes directly to the liver. And the body being the economical machine that it is, it stores this fructose in hopes of using it later. Because like I said, fructose can be stored and converted into glucose later. It's stored as a fat. This is the reason why fatty livers are epidemic in America now. Or one of the reasons why. Um, the, the, and, and the fatty liver leads to a tremendous amount of health problems. Diabetes, high blood pressure, eventual heart disease, hardening of the arteries. The liver itself will not work properly because it's all backed up and full of fat. A fatty, the fatty liver, which is a, almost common in America now, is not a normal syndrome and it's being treated as like almost like normal in America now. And it has a lot to do with high fructose corn syrup. Um, the body needs to, to, when the body does change the, the glucose in, uh, I mean the fructose into glucose, it takes a tremendous amount of, 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 of energy and ATP in the gut. So when the, when the liver finally does decide to change some of this um, fructose into glucose, it absorbs two, uh, uh, two molecules of, of phosphorus from every cell in the gut. It literally sucks the ATP out of the gut. Now this energy that's in the gut would normally is used to maintain the lining of the gut. 
when th this literally punches holes in the lining of the gut and leads to leaky gut syndrome. Another very prevalent syndrome in Amer modern Americans, leaky gut. Leaky gut causes tremendous amounts of health problems. If it first of all, it's literally, it sounds just like it is. It's a, it's a, it's a hole in the lining of your gut so that unprocessed food leaks into the system and is floating around in your system in the bloodstream, which causes an immune reaction. This immune reaction spreads low level inflammation throughout the entire body. So this low level inflammation is yet another syndrome or symptom that is prevalent in almost all modern Americans and is just being treated as normal. Another thing about um, fructose, when fructose gets into your system, it, um, it like I said, it gets converted into uh, this fat. And normally, when you when you burn sugar, it takes uh, insulin. Insulin is produced, and the insulin tells your body that oh, it's time to stop eating. Fructose, high fructose corn syrup, on the other hand, it does not spike this insulin production, and you get the impression on a chemical level that you're still hungry. This may well be the reason why eating fast food and eating um, processed foods, you want to keep eating. You want to keep eating because the body doesn't produce the insulin to tell you to stop eating. Ironically, when it is finally converted into glucose, um, that burns up a tremendous amount of, that makes a bunch of insulin. And then that insulin, over insulin production leads to diabetes. Now, prior to 1980, childhood diabetes was almost unknown. It is rampant in America now. Children have diabetes everywhere. This fatty liver it leads to production of fat on the torso. If you look at pictures of Americans prior to 1980, people didn't look like they do now. You'll notice that everybody looks fat now. And it's not like they're obesely fat. It's just a layer of fat all over their torso. That's the American look. Go to a Korean spa and where everybody's naked and you'll notice right away that the white Americans, they all have this layer of fat on them. This is from high fructose corn syrup. I feel it's from high fructose corn syrup. What else? It is in all processed foods. Not only does this lead to diabetes, it leads to high blood pressure. It leads to heart disease and hardening of the arteries. And furthermore, I was reading some research, and this may seem a bit obscure, but they were culturing this um, high fructose corn syrup, and it made a certain kind of fungus that's very different than the funguses that are made when you use just regular sugars. Because this high fructose corn syrup is 50% fructose. It's a very imbalanced sugar. And it makes this fungus that just goes wild. And the cells start to want this fungus, and this fungus starts to spread throughout the body. And we have a lot of problems in America now with overproductions of yeasts and funguses that may well have something to do with cancers. The, the, there's, the same article was saying that so many of the chronic diseases that are prevalent in the United States right now seem to correlate with high fruit, what high fructose corn syrup does to your body heart disease, diabetes, um, the, the, um, uh, uh, kidney dialysis, another, another problem that costs us billions and billions of dollars every year. These diseases are considered almost normal now and they fuel the, um, the medical society, the medical industry in America. So not only is there a bunch of money being made 
um, creating, uh, you know, pr producing the corn and getting American uh, subsidies from American tax dollars to produce the corn. But the corn and, and the high fructose corn syrup is making us ill. And there's a lot of money being made because everybody's getting sick. Everybody's having these chronic diseases. So the impetus or the desire to stop the production of high fructose corn syrup is almost nil. How many films like this have you seen? How many people have you heard talk about the dangers of high fructose corn syrup? I'm telling you, high fructose corn syrup is a major problem in America and it's leading us into these chronic diseases and frankly making us stupid. It's making us fat, it's making us lazy, and it's making people want to eat more than they need to be eating. Do yourself a favor. Look at the labels. If it says high fructose corn syrup, first of all, when it says high fructose corn syrup, that's a marker that that is a food that is a very low quality. The calories in it are going to be empty. There are no whole grains or anything like that in it. And don't eat it. Do not drink sweet drinks. You shouldn't be drinking cold drinks to begin with. Do not drink anything with high fructose corn syrup in it. Don't eat the overly processed foods that have high fructose corn syrup in it. Read the labels, people. High fructose corn syrup is poisonous. It has mercury in it. It has chemicals in it that we don't know what to do with. It has it will make fat your liver fatty. It will punch holes in your gut. If these reasons aren't enough, do the research yourself. It takes a little bit of doing because this stuff is kind of hidden. But high fructose corn syrup, in my opinion, is a major threat to the health of an Americans. And by the way, the rest of the world doesn't eat it. High fructose corn syrup is almost exclusively in America. Do yourself a favor and your family a favor. Reduce or cut high fructose corn syrup out of your diet completely because it doesn't take very much of it before it starts making metabolic changes that are somewhat irreversible and lead to terrible chronic diseases.